Hey, I'm Sean from Sprinkler Daddy, and in this video I just wanted to do a little bit of a buyer's guide, kind of run you through the different options that are available to you when you're talking about control timers for your automatic sprinkler system. So, um, the first model that I'm going to start with is the Pocket Star, and these are all from, uh, these are all from Orbit, I believe. Um, the Pocket Star is a kind of a budget model. Um, it's all digital, so if you're looking to um, if you're if you're not really digitally inclined, um, if you can't program your VCR, if you still have a VCR, this is probably not the unit for you. But if you don't mind uh, program programming the digital stuff, um, then this model, the Pocket Star, can save you a little bit of money. Um, the next thing that we want to look at is uh, another digital model uh, from Orbit, but it's a, uh, it's a touch screen model. So you get a stylus with it and you can, uh, you can do all your adjustments uh, digitally with the touch screen. So a lot of, a lot of people are uh, moving towards a lot of touch screen technology. So it's, it's kind of a neat, uh, neat little option for your timer. So um, if you're looking for the kind of the next big thing, go with the uh, touchscreen timers. Um, these, are, these are by far the coolest timers out there. Um, then we've got a touchscreen model with a remote and it's got a little bit different um, uh, kind of a, a dial to it so that you can uh, change a few things but it's got the touchscreen as well and then the remote allows you to turn on and off zones while you're standing in your yard so if you've got if you're planning to put the timer in your garage or in your basement or something it's uh, it's a good way to set up your your timer uh, with the remote option the remote option is a good option um, if you want to do some testing and playing around with your sprinkler system without having to be running back and forth to the garage or the basement the next uh, model that I want to show you is the control star model and uh, if you can see in the diagram here um, it's just basically got slides, slide switches, um, and a and a turn dial that uh, that allows you to basically uh, visually see what you're setting. So uh, again, going back to the uh, the Pocket Star, if you can't program your VCR, if you still have a VCR, um, this is probably the model that you want to go with. It's a little bit more expensive, but this is uh, more of a professional model as well. Um, so if you, uh, if you just want to be able to slide switch on and off and, and set the timings for your, uh, for your sprinkler control timer very quickly, uh, this is the model you want to go with, and that's the Control Star. And now that control star that I just showed you was actually an outdoor model. It comes in an indoor model as well. Um, the outdoor model can just be mounted on the wall right next to your um, to your valve box, so you don't have to use as much wiring to get um, uh, to get power from the timer to the to the valves. You can just mount it outside, and uh, and that's a that's a good option. That way, the outdoor timer is a little bit more expensive than the indoor timer. But uh, what you can do if you want to go with the indoor timer and or if you have an indoor timer and you want to mount it outside as you can go with uh, this this case it basically uh, protects indoor timers from the elements so you can mount them on your wall or or somewhere outside but you don't need to have an outdoor timer to be able to use it so if you want to have a little protection for your indoor uh, control timer. You can just use a, uh, a case that mounts on the wall and it protects the timer from the elements. And uh, lastly I also talked about the uh, the remote option that uh, that is available in the Orbit touchscreen um, model but uh, if you don't have a remote or if you already have a sprinkler system and you don't have a remote and you're looking to um, add a remote to your system we can do that too um, we sell the uh, a re remote control transmitter and a remote control receiver um, and that'll just uh, hook up to the majority of uh, sprinkler timers and uh, it'll be able to give you that um, timer capability with your control timer that you already have that's that didn't come with a remote so um, I hope that uh, gives you a little bit of insight into how to uh, gauge the different types of control timers out there and uh, helps you out in your buying decision.